Hey lovelies, I'm in my kitchen in isolation making the JSL cauliflower pizza. Excuse how I look right now, but I'm in my kitchen making the recipe and I was like, the JSL girls have to see how easy it is to make a crispy cauliflower pizza. It takes me 10 minutes and it just satisfies so many cravings. It's also incredibly nutritious. And if you're stuck at home like I am, it's something that the kids or the family kind of love to make with you and you can all have your different toppings and it's super nutritious. So what I do is I start with a mixing bowl and in here I've got pulsed cauliflower. So I've actually bought at mine from Coles cauliflower rice, two packets. I use these ones. If you don't have access to um, packaged cauliflower rice, which most grocery stores now do, you can just pulse one whole cauliflower into your food processor. So that's that in the mixing bowl. Then what I do is whisk up some organic eggs. I actually just put the full recipe on my Instagram, um, I think yesterday, as a spice across post. I'm doing three eggs. I think the recipe calls for two. Sometimes I just add in an extra egg. You know me, I really do not follow my recipes very perfectly at all. Okay, so adding the whisked egg to the bowl of cauliflower rice. Now I'm adding salt, just enough. Use your intuition when you're cooking. I love giving people the freedom just to kind of feel out the recipes and do what feels right because everyone likes different levels of salt, but just a few kind of sprinkles of salt. And then coming back, looking for my measuring cup. Ooh. Now I'm gonna do one cup of almond meal. So right now I'm making the cauliflower pizza base. I'm doing one cup almond meal. And then I'm doing about two to three tablespoons of coconut flour. I find that the coconut flour really like binds um, the cauliflower crust, the cauliflower base beautifully and normally the recipe calls for grated mozzarella cheese but I decided to just leave it out of the base and just add it on top. I'm just going to do so simple mozzarella tomato and basil on top but let's just continue with the cauliflower base. So that's everything in the bowl and now I'm going to drizzle very generous, generously some olive oil Olive oil is my superfood of choice. Obsessed with Target. Get all these beautiful um, spoons from Target. And then I'm just gonna now mix everything together. So that was the cauliflower rice with the almond meal, coconut flour, egg, and olive oil, and sea salt. Yeah, sea salt. Just gonna mix it all together. And this is kind of when I need to use my hands. Sorry but I have washed my hands at least 10 times today. So mixing it all up, this is super messy. I'm very grateful that Dean is working in the other room right now because he'd be watching for my mess. <laughs> so what happens is now when you combine everything together, you'll see it's gonna start to form into like a nice kind of cauliflower dough. So you'll, you'll see now. So use your hands to mix it all up really nicely, you know, and you need to feel how it is. Like sometimes people complain that it's too wet or it's not wet enough. If, for me right now, I feel like I need to add just a little bit more olive oil because it's feeling a little bit dry. I always encourage people just to use your intuition. Okay. Washing the hands again. This is such a great one to also make if you're entertaining. A lot of us are not going to be entertaining for a while, um, but it's something that I love to make for my friends as a starter um, when they come over for dinner. I'm just going to add a little bit more olive oil. I always sing when I'm talking on Instagram. It's so annoying. Okay, so my cauliflower base is looking really good. Just before I jumped onto camera, I lined my baking tray with baking paper. 
All you do now is you basically take the cauliflower crust mixture and add it to the pan, to the baking tray. Um, now I'm, I'm making, this is like quite a lot. You can definitely half the recipe, but the more the merrier. And then I just use my hands and spread the cauliflower mixture. Sometimes I do it into a normal pizza, pizza shape, but other times I just make it into a square. Like I am gonna probably do now. Actually, I'm gonna do <laughs> a circular square kind of shape. Um, just as long as you even the mixture out enough so it's not clumpy in any areas. I like it to be super thin because the thinner the crust is, the crunchier your pizza will be. Okay, cool. Guys, the recipe is nearly done. You know, with the JS Health recipes, no one has time for longer than 10 to 15 minute recipes. No way. I'm actually still working right now, but I just thought I'd have a quick, I mean, I'm like working today on admin, but I thought I'd have a quick um, little IGTV break because then dinner is all ready. So as I was saying, the kids at home seem to love this recipe and it's just a great way of sneaking in the veggies. Cool, that's, can you see? I basically just smoothed out the cauliflower mixture into a nice pizza crust. It's actually the perfect consistency and texture. Very messy though. Now I'm going to just take um, mozzarella slices and top the pizza with some delicious mozzarella. You know what? I think I've got an, another mozzarella in my fridge. I'm obsessed with cheese and I do prefer Italian cheese and this mozzarella is not. So I just found a little clump of Italian mozzarella, which I much prefer. So I'm gonna just top the pizza with this mozzarella, tomato and basil, that's it. Just doing like rough chunks of mozzarella on top of the pizza. And oh, by the way, I preheated the oven to 180 degrees Celsius and the pizza will cook for about 20, 25 minutes. I'm gonna slice up some tomato. Can you see I'm slicing tomato? Probably not. Just gonna do a simple margarita, guys. Cheese, tomato, and basil. Sometimes I find the simpler dishes are much tastier. Okay. Please let me know what other Jay's Health recipes you'd love to see me make. I'm in my kitchen pretty much every day making something, but you'd be surprised at how simple I keep things. I think just because people think I have a health or a food account means that I'm a good cook. Chef like, I'm so not a good cook. I'm just obsessed with healthy food. I'm a nutritionist and I love to find kind of easy ways and healthy ways to, to make food or just delicious. I guess I'm really passionate about making healthy, showing people that healthy food can be delicious. I'm gonna do a little sprinkle more of salt. Pepper. drizzle of olive oil because I always do extra olive oil drizzled. And I've got just the slightest bit left, slightest um, bit of basil left from my darling friend Anna. I'm going to place that on top of the pizza. How long have I been going for? Almost 10 minutes and the recipe's done. Perfect. 
Love JSL 10 minute recipes. Okay. Look how gorgeous that looks. Margarita, cauliflower margarita. Now I'm gonna place it into the oven, probably 15, 20, 25 minutes. Again, wish I could tell you exact timing because I don't follow my own recipes, but I think that's what it is. And you'll see how crispy it becomes. I'll stop the video now and show you the end result. This is my margarita cauliflower pizza, crispy. It took 15 minutes in the oven and 10 minutes to prep. The whole family will absolutely adore this.